video we are going to go over how to create a multiple regression equation which can also be used with dummy variables and logistic regression. I am going to be basing my examples here on this data set one body data data set uh, with several of these variables inside of it and do note how I do have a dummy variable here, gender, already coded in zeros and ones, zero for female and one for male, just to quickly point out. But this uses this code that I have here on the right, proc glm data is equal to whatever the data set is. Plots is equal to all, that's used to create all the plots that we are normally accustomed to and uh, to determine if the, um, the data is approximately normal. And then model whatever the response variable is, is equal to, and then we list out all of the predictive variables with a space between all of them. So for example, let's say based on this body data data set, I want to predict the pulse rate here by, and I have multiple ones of these here to state, but age, gender, age, gender, uh, the white blood cell count, red blood cell count, and weight and height. So, this is going to be proc glm data is equal to, uh, well I have this data set, this is underneath underscore temp zero dot, and then underscore o1 underscore body underscore data. I won't include the plots just to show what it actually does first, but that's what I'm going to put in to begin with. And then we're going to do model, and then we're going to predict pulse from, so pulse equals, and then we're going to include age, weight, height, gender, white and red blood cells. The order of those technically speaking doesn't matter but it would just impact where in the equation it is. And then run. If I just run this, notice how it only gives us the model, which as we can see from this probability here, is indeed a um, significant model to begin with, so that's good. But notice how we don't really get any graphs from this. If we want to determine if it's approximately normally distributed, we oops a daisy. We need to include plots equals all here. You know, to give us all those plots that we can look at to determine if it is indeed approximately normal. And once it does so, okay. So we have all that stuff from before, but now we have all of the plots. Which, as you could probably expect, is does indeed do a good job since we have a significant model to begin with. But based upon all of these plots, we definitely do have a pretty good model here. But, 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 when we do have a multiple regression model as such, regardless if there are dummy variables, we're going to need to look to see if any of these variables could be taken out to make our model more significant, meaning a better prediction, right? This gives us an R squared value here of 0 0.979. And you can tell from some of these graphs, the data is just a big glop, <laughs> to put it lightly. So, in order for us to do this, we need to investigate these probabilities here and determine which ones that we can remove based on a level of significance, let's say 5%. Um, but looking at this, we have multiple ones here that are indeed above 5%, right? We have weight, we have height, and we have the red blood cell count. But in order for us to do this, we need to go one at a time, since obviously when we go to get rid of a variable, it can impact it, some of these probabilities. So the highest probability we have here is this red um, variable with a probability of a half. We could get rid of that very easily. So we're just going to change our code by getting rid of that variable and then we run the, uh, the procedure. It would take its sweet daily time to run, but once it does so, 
we can now see that our, our squared value changed a little bit here. The probability is still showing a significant relationship. We can look at the plot to still see we have a normal distribution. But we could still get rid of some more variables. We have, the next highest one here is this height with the probability of 0.4. We could get rid of that one. So height will no longer be in our equation. And again, run it once again. And then it will give us a, a new model here now. Again, the R squared value changing a bit, which is always perfectly fine. And the um, significance of this model is still has a good significance, so we're fine there. And we still have a normal distribution, as you could expect. Uh, but we could still get rid of one more variable. This weight variable here has a probability of still greater than 0.05. This has 0.15. And that's not good. So weight is going to have to no longer be in our equation as well. Rerunning this eventually will now give us a significance again of significant. We have an R squared value that actually decreased a little bit. But now we have, if we look underneath all of our variables, each one of these is less than 5%. So because of that, we now have a completely significant relationship. All three of these variables, age, gender, and the white blood cells, all three of those are significant in the uh, equation. And as such, we should keep it like that. And then we could still see that the model still is still approximately normal which is always good. I should also note that we could also use this procedure with that logistic regression. But from our equation of logistic regression, we do need a, um, a right-hand side of it in order for us to accurately compute the probability. So let's say, and this one does not have too many nice variables I could use for it. Since gender, you can't. We really shouldn't be predicting gender from everything else. Uh, do I have a better one I could use? Not that. I wish it was that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Eh, I'm not going to have a good one to use, am I? Well. Alrighty, well, despite, uh, despite that, I will then just use gender here then as the response variable in order to do this. Even though you shouldn't really be predicting gender, but... It is an example of the gist of regression, so. I'm going to predict um, the gender from the age. Let's do age, weight, height. Yep, so we're going to predict the gender from the age, weight, and height. All right, so despite the fact that this is going to be a logistic regression, we still run the um, multiple regression as we normally would. As you could assume, since these are indeed, this is indeed a logistic regression, these plots are not really going to do too well of a job of telling us if it's normally distributed, since, well, some of these are, would be questionable since we have those two, the two genders. Um, we could get rid of weight from our equation, since we do have a significant relationship. Uh, we have an R squared here of 0.43. We can get rid of weight. And then we do it. Once it loads, of course. And... You know, now both of these are above 5%, which is good. So, if we wanted to use gender being the predictive variable, 
uh, gender being the response variable and the age and height being the predictor variables, we could then use the logistic regression in order to use that as well. But it's based upon the equation that we get from these two, as opposed from running anything else. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.